If you are a beginner or an Arduino enthusiast, watch this video till the end, as Mumpreneur is here with some interesting and fun Arduino DIY projects you can build at home. To help you build these projects and keep you excited about Arduino, Mumpreneur is offering a free Arduino Uno kit. Watch the video to know how to grab this kit for free. Let's get started. Project number 5 is an automatic water filling machine. Do you know where automatic water filling machines are mostly used? It is widely used in the beverage and soft drink industries. Do you know, you can make it at home? It's very simple. To build this project we need the following components first we need an Arduino Nano microcontroller port, then we need a 16x2 LCD display, a 10K potentiometer, then a 4x4 keypad matrix. A Hall Effect water flow sensor to measure liquid flow speed, a DC water pump draws water from a liquid source. A 5V single channel relay module. A zero PCB port for assembling all the components together. This is the schematic of the project designed using the Fridge Inc. software. The circuit contains Arduino Nano board, water flow sensor, relay module, water pump and LCD display. Once input is given, the pump starts working and transfers the precise liquid amount into a container. During its operation, the LCD displays the speed of water flow and the amount of water in the container. Using this data, it becomes easier to monitor the operation. So, with this method, you can now accurately transfer liquids as well. And if you want to decorate your house with LEDs, then this project is very important for you. We present you the LED Blink project at number 4. Now suppose you want to blink an external LED with the help of an Arduino, then we will use a breadboard with connection wires and resistors. To interface with the Arduino board, we will connect the positive terminal of the D13 pin. With a series resistor of 330 ohms Arduino to ground the Arduino Uno and the negative terminal, the company also manufactures the supporting software known as Arduino IDE. This is the primary binding factor that makes all Arduino work the way Arduino does is the brain where the code is installed. You can download it from the link given in the description, it is as simple as subscribing to a channel. This software has a lot of predefined codes installed, with the help of which we are going to blink the LED today. Now to take LED blinking to the next level, try the third project on this list, NRF transmitter using an Arduino. Wireless technology is gradually improving the way devices communicate. This simple project shows how everyday items can be controlled wirelessly. We can use a wireless transmitter to create simple circuits to control LED lights, DC motors, or any other component. We can also use a receiver circuit to reduce the number of wires at the receiving end. The transmitter receiver modules work in synchronization and precisely follow each command. And doesn't the use of a PCBs to form a compact circuit at both ends give the whole project an attractive look, doesn't it? If you want to learn how traffic lights work, then our number two project, Mumpreneur's Traffic Light Kit, will help you create one. We will start with the controller board, which is an Arduino Nano compatible board and the Moon Card controller board has software that will control traffic. Match the drawing in the Moon Card aligning the connectors and the pins otherwise it will not work. Insert the combination of the controller board and Moon Cards in the breadboard as showed. The connector for the controller board should be on the edge of the breadboard and pins are also aligned. This will help us extend the connection to the traffic light board, which we will do in the next stage. We will take the traffic light board and will find out its four connecting pins. We will have to connect these four pins to the controller board, which we assembled in the previous step, with the help of the wires provided. But before that connect the traffic LED board to the breadboard. Next, we will connect the wires. Black wire will go into the GND of traffic light board and black of the controller board. The green wire in the G of the traffic light board and the green of the controller board. In the same way, the yellow wire will go into the Y of the traffic light board and yellow of the control board. The red wire will go into the R of the traffic light board and red of the controller board. Finally, we will insert the USB cable in a USB power adapter. We can also use the USB port of a laptop or computer. 
The USB cable provides electricity to the board and there you go, your traffic light is working. Have you ever wanted to build your own Arduino robot and program it to do cool things? Introducing Lucy, the obstacle avoiding Arduino robot. Lucy is the number one Arduino project on our list. Lucy is not your ordinary Arduino project. It is a robot that is equipped with advanced sensors that allow it to detect objects and avoid obstacles in its path. And the best part, you can program Lucy to do just about anything you want by simply putting the code in the Arduino. And the more you play with Lucy, the more you'll learn about coding and robotics. So, if you're excited to take on the world of Arduino projects, join Mumpreneur's free robotics trial to build more exciting Arduino projects like Lucy and get an Arduino for free. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.